So it's always fun to receive the paper pumpkin box when it arrives at your door. And you will get a notification from Stampin' Up! that it is shipped with your shipping information. So it is something that um, in Canada here we do receive it by FedEx. So it comes wrapped up in a plastic to protect the box and the contents. And then inside it, um, I shared a video last week when it arrived on Instagram with this tissue paper and I opened it up and um, so it's fun. And these boxes are neat to keep as well. So here are the instructions. Now the instructions have changed the last few years. So it is something that um, you can um, actually see in color what it looks like in here. So it is something that um, these have been greatly improved for you to be able to craft. All right, so uh, next up we have the stamp set. So it has Dream Big, Aim High, The World Awaits You, Let the Adventure Begin, Congrats, Let Your Light Shine. I think I said that already. Um, all right, with some little fireflies and some trees and maybe some pine needles. I'm not sure. All right, so next up we have a green... Garden Green Ink Pad, or Ink Spot. And then we have some little sequiny thingies, and some glue dots, and some uh, um, sequins. Anyway, sorry about that. And then, next up in our package, we have these beautiful envelopes. So they're pre-stamped. You could cut these up if you wanted to reuse um, these pieces, but these are already gorgeous. You can do some stamping on it uh, to enhance it and then um, send it off with a little stamp and a greeting on it to your to your favorite person or who needs that little um, pick-me-up. All right. So I'm just going to slide this off to the side because this is a big pile and I haven't looked at it because I have heard that these cards are a little bit interactive. So, ooh, I love that. So these cards here, they have a cutout of the lantern. So, and it's nice that they've included the cutout piece too. So that you can reuse this if you wanted. So you just pop this out. Come on. You can also cut out the lantern. So we got that little piece. And then we have a little couple pieces in here. And you have a nice fancy little lantern with all of the bugs flying around. <laughs> like they would be when you go camping. And if you do have a bone folder, I find that it does help. Or if you have a, a marker or even like a, an ink pad, make sure the ink pad is closed. Don't do it when the ink is up because you'll get ink everywhere. Don't ask me how I know that. So here is the card. So it looks like some wonderful little trees back there. And um, an idea I had was to make a, make a shaker card. So that would be fun. So some interactive designs on this card. So that's pretty neat. So we have two, three, four of the lanterns. One, two, three, four of the tree, mm, excuse me, trees. So I'll save one of those. Let's see what the inside looks like. Ooh, look at that. Okay, this is pretty awesome. And then we have one, two, three, four of the camper and the trees. Wow. Okay. I can envision some wonderful scrapbook pages with these pieces. And then little trees and big trees. So it looks like you can make like a little, little diorama. All right. And then they come with this chipboard piece to protect the, the um, 
product in your container. All right, let's have another look at these instructions. And we're going to look at the camper one. So the camper one has these trees. So yes, they're pine needles that are stamped right on the trees here. So that's pretty neat. And then the other, these ones go on the circle. So this one here, you would add those trees. Oh, I see. It goes on the front. So it sits on the front. So you stamp the pine needles, and then you stamp your dream big, aim high, and then it goes right, you put some dimensionals on it, and you put it in front so that the tree's in front of the other one. So that's pretty cool. All right, we're going to put... Um, I think... I'm just looking at the instructions. So you're stamping the little firefly on the little dots. All right, is there little dots? Oh, yeah. Looky there. Little dots. Okay, we're going to put that one together because it's adorable. And then... I'm going to play around with some uh, scrapbook layouts because I love to camp and I have lots of photos that need to be scrapbooked. Oh yes. And I didn't show you the back of the instruction sheet. So there's lots of information in these kits and um, you can choose to sign up for one month at a time. We, they do give us teasers, so we don't know exactly what's coming in the kit every month. But, um, like, for example, this month, they've included a little hint of what August's kit is going to look like. So there's what the box will look like right there. And I'll post some pictures a little later that I have of some, some of the inside pieces. So um, this is one, I believe it's designed by Shelly. Yeah, Shelly's one-of-a-kind hope box and Shelly is one of the co-founders of Stampin' Up. Her daughter is the current CEO of Stampin' Up. So that's that was included in my uh, paper bumpkin box as well. So August you can sign up now. If you'd like a chance at the July kit then um, it might be available next Monday, sorry next Monday, as either refill or as a full kit. It depends on how many people have signed up versus how many they have left over. All right, so back to our lantern kit here. So I got my little block and I'm gonna grab this little firefly. They were talking about flyer, fireflies around home the other day, but I haven't, I haven't paid attention. It's been too hot and too wet lately. First we have no rain, now we have too much rain. All right, so I'm just gonna fold or smush my front back because I smushed it a bit. Now, even though we do get, you do get an ink spot with your kit, I prefer the larger pads. So it's just up to you. If you don't have the color, this is a great way to grow your color collection. And then we'll stamp this little dude right there. Now, on the back of the instructions, it does include the colors that coordinate with the kit. So we have garden green. Well, actually, basic black, but basic black. So there's memento black. It's the closest ink that we have to basic black. Then we have Bermuda Bay, uh, crushed curry, early espresso, uh, flirty flamingo, which I was kind of surprised by, but that's okay. Flirty flamingo, uh, garden green. Oh, I forgot granny apple green. Granny Apple Green is up here on my shelf. So these, Crush Curry and Night of Navy. So these are the coordinating colors that work with this kit. So if you don't have all of these colors, you don't need them to create projects. But if you have some Bermuda Bay or some Garden Green paper, 
then you can extend this kit to make even more. So I'll show you how to do that as well. All right, so put those over there. So back to our lantern card. So this here, we need one of the circles. And that was on here. Another great accessory to use with the um, a paper pumpkin kit is the Stamparatus. So the Stamparatus will help you put your stamp exactly where you want it to go, especially when you have these pre-cut circles. Why do I want to do this? There we go. And you put them down, square them up on the edge, and then we're going to use Let Your Light Shine because that just works so well. And then you can position your stamp where you want it to be. Like so. Pick it up with the plate. And this one, I'm going to do Bermuda Bay, just for a little bit different. And you could use markers or any ink spots that you do have either on your stamps or with the Stamparatus. And then this, you just flip over and stamp. And it didn't stamp the best. Usually, um, our photopolymer stamps sometimes will have like a residue on them. Even our red rubber stamps, we don't get rubber, red rubber stamps in our project, or uh, in our paper pumpkin kits, but sometimes they just need a little extra stamping or a cleaning to help that ink stick. And the nice thing, another nice thing about this Stamparatus, is you can stamp a second time and it will stamp in exactly the same spot as it did before, which is pretty awesome. And then clean it up with a Simply Chamois. And away we go. I'm gonna put my stamp back. And then we can pull this out and pop out our circle. And then we can put some little dimensionals on the back of it. Like so. And then, I think that's all the steps, but let's just have a peek see. So we stamp, 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 assemble. All right. So you want to be careful of where, so I should have been careful about where I put these. But that's okay. Because of the corner. Maybe I'll put it there and will that work? That'll work. Just to give it something to anchor to there on that one side. So I'll take those backings off. And then whoopsie. And hope, yep, I did. Hope that I got that lined up. So there we go. So a nice and easy card with a little bit of stamping, some punching out of paper, and then you can uh, stamp in here if you want with, a, say, one of the other greetings. So you could put uh, dream big, aim high there. Or you can stamp uh, a tree on the inside here if you'd like, or some little, uh, um, let's go call them butterflies, little fireflies. All right, so there's one card made like the kit. I'm going to show you how to use the camper card to stretch it for extra cards. So we're going to bring up the trimmer and we're going to trim this off. It's not quite four and a quarter. 
So we're going to trim this off. We'll come back to this later. And then we're going to grab some garden green because that's one of the coordinating colors. Oh, I thought I had a card base. There we go. Some garden green. And either you can trim down your garden green base or we can trim this down. So I'm going to trim this down just a little because it's already five and a half. I'm going to trim this down to four inches wide. And I'm going to leave that at five and a half. So just so I have this kind of green edge to my forest. And then we're going to take, I'm going to take the trees. Where's my other trees? We're going to take one of these sentiments and pop it out. Just like so. And one of these. So even though they only include four, I'm still going to use them for a different card. And that's all right. Because I can stamp, and you can even hand cut this out if you want to replace this tree. It's about the same size, so it's something that you could uh, swap out without too big of an issue. And I want to grab my garden green again. So this garden green we're going to use, we're just going to pull that off. Use the, oops, yeah, the little pine needles to give our tree some dimension. And, oh wait, no, that's not the one I wanted. We want the bigger one, this one here. So block G, block D, block D is the one that will fit most of our paper pumpkin stamps. Excuse my head for a moment. And stamp it like that. Okay, so that's going to go here. I think actually we're going to put that on the other side. We'll put that here. We'll put some dimensionals behind it to pop it up. Just like so, give it a couple extras. So it'll pop up like this. And then we want, what was I looking for? Oh, the stamps right in front of me. And then we want to go and say, let's do explore. Let's do a congrats actually. And we'll do this in Night of Navy, because that'll pull from the blues back here. We'll stamp that right under this tree. Like so. So this tree will go here. This tree will go here. And I feel like we need something else. Let's see, what else could we add? Maybe we just need another strip of paper behind this. So what colors can we add? Um, we could do another strip of garden green, perhaps. Let's look at my pieces I have. I kind of like that. And then maybe add a little bit of granny apple green on the bottom. So this little bit here, I can trim that off, but, or do I need granny apple green behind it? Oops. Come on, move out of my way. Oops. 
Maybe I just need some granny apple green behind it. Okay, let's see if I can find a little bit thicker piece of granny apple green. So I don't know if that's quite big enough. But let's have a look. What do you think? Drop me a comment to let me know what you think. That one? Or this one? I think I like the bigger one. Okay, so we're going to cut that to four and a quarter, which is the width of our card base. So that'll go like that. And I think I'm going to do some stamping of the tree. Or... So let's put that down. Grab some Granny Apple Green ink and a deluxe foam mat to protect my work surface. And I'm just going to do tone on tone here. Remove this so I can see. Very juicy ink pad. I'm going to drag it off, I think. Oops. Just to give it a different look to it. Something like that. All right. making a big mess tonight. But that's fun to be creative and make a little bit of a mess. And then you get to clean up later because it just washes away with some water. All right. So let's put this card together. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue. You can also use the glue dots in the kit. They're not my favorite thing. I prefer the, uh, Where's the fold? Oh, there's a the fold. Um, I prefer the uh, liquid glue, but whatever adhesive you prefer to use is the best to use. Let's see, how's this gonna look? I like that. Just a little bit of oomph to the back of that. You could also use the uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine to um, emboss this with like a wood grain or um, I think there's a pine there's uh, the wintry 3d embossing folders that will fit the mini stamp and cut mini machine it has like a pine boughs look to it so that would be great to use with this so we'll just center this like so, something like that. And put that like that. And then I think a couple of these blue sparkly sticky back sequins would be perfect. Let's get rid of that. To pop on. Oops. Oops. Let's try that again. The sticky part didn't come with. There we go. So I'll put three of these. Oops. No idea where that one went. It went flip right off. So there we go. So there are two options that you can create with that, um, with July's Paper Pumpkin Kit. So the, like what they've designed, which is gorgeous, this flip card, and then you can stamp on the inside, and then remember to stamp your envelopes as well. And then an alternative where I've used the, oops, 
inside, so you can still use this card, trim that off a little bit, and use this card. Um, so you can get extra cards with just a little bit extra cardstock and cutting off some of the inserts. So let me know if you have any questions about this month's Paper Pumpkin, and uh, check back possibly next week or let me know in the comments that you're interested and I will keep an eye out for you and let you know if refills or the uh, full kit becomes available. I'll also have a link for joining Paper Pumpkin under me. Thank you. Have a great night.